right guys welcome to maddenedge.com here are the roster optimizations um, for the Madden Edge scheme for uh, every team in the NFL uh, haven't been able to play any games won't be able to do that until two days from the date that, that this video goes up uh, just moved across country so uh, you know how you guys know how that is but uh, the purpose of the Madden Edge um, defensive scheme guys is so that you do not have to substitute so that if someone comes out in four wide you feel comfortable if they come out in three wide and try to run on you you feel comfortable if they come out in a running set you feel comfortable uh, it's a universal defense and the reason being guys is because um, I think the the uh, biggest attribute that allows that to happen is the uh, outside linebackers so guys um, my guys told me that I should tell you guys what I'm looking for and here it is if the if the outside linebackers can cover in other words if their man coverage is somewhere in the 70s 80s or 90s uh, and they have a high overall rating leave them at linebacker because that means that they they can tackle and cover but if it's if it starts dipping into the 50s and 60s and 40s, no matter how highly rated that person is, he can't play in the Madden Edge scheme at um, outside linebacker because um, when people come out in three four wide, that guy is going to get uh, exposed. Now, if you um, bump and ran and blitzed off of that, then maybe that guy could stay in there. But anytime that the third or fourth receiver gets free um, you're gonna give up a big play so for that reason I, I like to put those stud backers outside backers who can't cover I like to put them at the defensive end spot and then when you drop that defensive end into coverage then what happens is he becomes excellent because uh, he has okay coverage skills but not good enough to cover a third or fourth receiver so uh, take that um, non covering backer and put him on the end and you'll see his numbers go up uh, so how do you substitute the um, outside backers well what you're gonna do is you're going to get a safety usually a second or third string safety who has good coverage skills now what's going to happen is his awareness is probably going to be low what that means is that on a let's say on a third and 12 a, a, a obvious passing situation if that person runs a play action on third and third and 12 that guy is not aware he's not smart so he is likely to bite on that fake so what you need to do in that passing situation is to drop your coverage into the passing so that um, they don't bite and that's the way that I get out of that now um, any safety who's like let's say 5'11", 6 foot, 6'2", six and weighing under you know 220 they're gonna have decent coverage skills sometimes you can find guys who have excellent coverage skills but you know their tackling is poor or things like that and I'm still gonna put that guy in there um, because to stop the run what we do in this scheme is we rely on our defensive linemen and that spine middle backer in the base run stopping play which is the three deep QB spot um, the speed and strength of the defensive end um, on that play is going to force the back to go wider than he wants to the strength of the inside tackles pushing forward is going to force them to go even wider. Um, and with that middle linebacker spying in the middle, he's spying the QB, but he's aware. So what's going to happen is if that bat gets to toss or, or that bat gets to dive off tackle, then what's going to happen is uh, he's going to go to where that back is and that back is going to be going further than he wants. And you pretty much have have stuffed the run uh, on most occasions so that's the reason why you can substitute those backers is because in the Madden Edge scheme the backers the outside backers really aren't asked to do the tackling who's asked to do the tackling is uh, or the tackling of the tailback 
who's actually been tackling, like I just said, is the lineman and that spying backer on most occasions. Uh, so that's how we're going to take care of that. Um, someone was talking to me about uh, doing a um, Matt and Edge crew. And uh, we're, we're actually going to do that. Uh, I got my right hand man over there. And um, we're just working out the details right now. And, and, and that's going to be going. But what I do know is that um, if you want to try out, what you need to do is uh, message me with your, um, your uh, gamer tag. But guys, what I need you to do is to go to the site and like Madden Edge uh, at Facebook because I'm getting a lot of messages on email and YouTube and Facebook and it's kind of hard to keep up. So um, what we're going to do is anytime you guys have a question about a team or if you want to join the crew, um, just go to the Facebook page and message me personally that way. Make sure that you like it so that um, we can get that to grow. But that's the best way so that I'm not all over the place and, and, and I can actually um, get your videos up sooner that way because uh, I'm not chasing everything all around. So back to the crew though, guys. Um, give me your uh, gamer tag and I need you to be able to be winning 80% um, using the Madden Edge scheme and that way... I know that you have a good feel for it. Uh, either me or my guy are going to test you out uh, to see how you're doing it. And uh, if you're doing that good, uh, then welcome aboard. Um, and uh, that's how we're going to do it, guys. Um, it's a good brand of football. It's a smart brand of football. And uh, I appreciate the love that you guys are giving me. Um, do visit the site, guys. It helps it so that I can uh, keep doing this for you. Uh, what else? What else? So uh, let me see. So I told you what I'm looking for on 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 defense. Uh, that's oh yeah. So let's go back to some substitutions. Um, so you substitute that uh, that safety or two into the linebacking outside backing. See like Suggs right there, guys. Oh wow. Well, I can't talk about Suggs because then that won't be. On. I'm gonna use the same audio for part two because it's gonna be. Uh, it's going to be two parts, about 10 minutes each. So uh, anyway, guys, some guys who are studs at outside linebacker in this system, they have to play in. Um, let's just put it this way now. How do you make up for that safety, especially if it's a starter? Well, generally speaking, I won't take the starter at strong safety and put him at the backer unless it's a very rare situation. Um, and uh, at times you can pull from the corner like if the second string corner is you know like uh, let's say his strength is up in the 60s or or something like that then that means he's going to make a pretty good safety a free safety or a strong safety and in that case you can kind of you know move the starting free safety into strong and, and do things like that it's just about getting the best players on the field um, who can run um, the scheme. But the most important part is that those outside linebackers need to be able to man coverage and zone coverage as best as possible. But now some teams, guys, they, they just, you know, they, they um, you know, they're, they're not great in that area. But I've showed you how to win um, with those types of teams and that's the good thing about the Madden Edge scheme is that you could you can win with every team I've shown that so I got a lot of requests coming up for a lot of different teams and as soon as my internet gets back up uh, two days from now um, I can't wait to get these um, videos up in terms of uh, me playing guys as soon as I get done putting all of these videos up for just about every team or at least for the most popular teams that people want me to play with then I will start my uh, ranking profile for this uh, season pretty much this whole season I, I have I you know like I said I've been taking these teams and I just been trying to figure out their strengths and their weaknesses so that I can give you the uh, uh, the best information that I can so uh, maybe in about two weeks I'll start playing for my ranking and uh, we can see how far I can get with that this year. Uh, so uh, until then, guys, that's what I'm looking for. These are the rosters. And uh, 
games coming up soon.